and humble greetings to each and every one on this video we're going to be talking about Mojachi queenship family tree the reign queen of Balobetu the Balobetu story begins with their ties at the great Zimbabwe and Mapungube kingdoms rumors suggest that Monomotapa in the early 17th century established this kingdom after dispute with his father. The chief's appointment was no ordinary affair, involving a predecessor spirit and even sensitive rituals. The Balobedu were initially divided into southern and northern eastern groups, with the later known as Banabatsie Kalaka, or children of ants. A pivotal moment came when the first chief's daughter, Zungundini, fled her father's brutality, taking followers and rain-making powers to the Venda region. They eventually settled near the Drankensberg, forming the foundation of the Balobetu tribe. In the 19th century, the tribe migrated to the Molotozi Valley, founding Ramujaji. Magapele, blessed with three sons, including Mohal, played a crucial role in establishing the kingdom. Mohale, known for rituals and associated with the bed of Mohale, led the Balobetu alongside the kith and kin of Mamabolo. They migrated, separating from the elephants at Naje in Zanin. Fast forward to the 19th century, and Chief Mukhodo or Mugodo enters the scene, prophesying that a queen will succeed him. His daughter, Mojaji, accepts the unconventional proposal, leading to a unique dynasty. Mojaji becomes the first rain queen in the world, known for her rainmaking powers. Her mystical abilities bring prosperity to the kingdom, earning respect from tribes and leaders across South Africa. The Balobedu are rich in natural history in the northern part of Limpompo province. The Queen's Palace, surrounded by thick forests, holds traditional ceremonies among ancient Mujaji cycads. Mujaji's legacy continues, surrounded by an air of mystery. Her rainmaking powers, unique among South African queens, have made her a legendary figure. Annual ceremonies at her royal compound keep the cultural structure intact. According to custom, the rain queen avoids public functions and communicates with her people through advisors. This maintains a sense of mystery and tradition. Every November, the rain queen leads the rainmaking ceremony at her royal compound in Ketlakone village. It's a significant event that reflects the cultural richness of the Balobedu. The Rain Queen isn't supposed to marry conventionally. Instead, she has what are referred to as wives. These individuals are more like royal court servants, selected for diplomatic reasons to ensure loyalty to the Queen. The process of bride giving involves selecting wives from the households of subject chiefs. It's a form of diplomacy.
orchestrated by the Queen's Royal Council, strengthening ties between villages and ensuring allegiance to the Rain Queen. The Rain Queen, mystical rain-making powers, are believed to be reflected in her garden, which contains the world's largest cycad trees. The Mojaji cycad is even named after her. Interestingly, the queenship is inherited through matrilineal lineage, passing from the Rain Queen to her daughter. This unique system adds to the cultural richness of the Balobidu. The Rain Queen is not just a cultural figure, but has played a role in historical events. For instance, the fifth Rain Queen, Mokope Mujaj, maintained friendly relations with Nelson Mandela, showcasing the Queen's influence beyond her traditional role. In modern times, the Rain Queen has become a significant tourist attraction, contributing to the South African economy. The government even provides an annual stipend to support the preservation of the cycad trees in her garden. Her role goes beyond the boundaries of the Balobedu, making her a symbol of cultural richness and historical continuity. Now looking at the first Mujaj, it was Maselekwane Mujaj, who reigned from 1800 to 1854 and holds a unique place in the culture and history of the Balobedu tribe. Her life and legacy are intertwined with the mystical role of the Rain Queen, a position that carries a great significance in the community. Born to Mugodo or Mugodo, chief of the Krang and Prince Zungundini, Masalekwane's lineage played a pivotal role in her accession to the revered position. As the daughter of tribal leaders, her upbringing was marked by traditions and a deep connection to the spiritual practices of the Balobedu. Masalekwana lived in seclusion, immersed in the heart of the forest, where she conducted secretive rituals, believed to harness the power to make rain. The mystic surrounding her practices added an air of reverence, and her secluded lifestyle added to the enigma that shrouded the Rain Queen. Marcel Ekwane's death in 1854 marked an end of an era, but her legacy endured, and she remains an integral part of South African history, carrying forward traditions that connect the tribe to the rhythms of nature. She was succeeded by Rain Queen Masala Nabo Mujaji II, who continued the secret responsibilities passed down through generations. Masala Nabo Mujaji II reigned from 1854 to 1894 and encountered location policies of the 1890s, leading to a unique meeting with Commander General Pete Jobert. Jobert, expecting the Rain Queen, was presented with an impersonator instead, leading to a disappointment. Masala Nabo, a mysterious figure really appeared in public and had several children. Kesetwane Mujaji III succeeded Masala Nabo and the Rain Queen's legacy persisted. Kesetwane Mujaji III, born in 1869 and became the third Rain Queen of Balobetu tribe in South Africa. She reigned from 1895 to 1959 succeeding Masala Nabu Mujaji II and preceding Makoma Mujaji IV. It is said that in 1894, Masala Nabu, her predecessor, committed a ritual of passing on the spirit and powers to Kesetwane. Kesetwane, daughter of Masala Nabu's sister and great wife, was designated as the heir before Masala Nabu's death. Her reign lasted an impressive 64 years, making her the longest reigning reign queen. Kesetwane chose her daughter, Makoma, as her successor, continuing the line of reign queens. Makoma Mujaji IV was born in 1905 and became the fourth reign queen of Balobetu tribe, succeeding her mother, 
Pesetwane Mujaj III. In 1959, her reign continued until her death in 1980. In 1972, during the apartheid era, the regime reduced Makoma Mujaj's title to that of chieftainess. The apartheid government incorporated villages and indunas under her jurisdiction into the Lebowa and Kazangulu homelands. Makoma Mujaji IV was succeeded by her eldest daughter, Mokope Mujaji, making a generational transition in the reign queen lineage. In Samar, Makoma Mujaji IV's reign was marked by challenges imposed by the apartheid regime, leading to a change in her title and jurisdiction. But despite these hurdles, her legacy endured through the succession of her daughter, Mokope Mujaj, ensuring the continuation of the Balobetu tribe's cultural heritage. Mokope Mujaj V was born on the 27th of April in 1937, served as the fifth reign queen of the Balobetu tribe in the Limpompo province from 1981 until her death in 28 June 2001. Mokope adhered strictly to the customs expected of rain queens, living in seclusion in the royal compound in Ketlakone village. In 1994, Mokope formed a unique friendship with President Nelson Mandela, communicating through traditional intermediaries due to her seclusion. Mokope had three children, including her designated successor, Princess Makaila. Tragically, Princess Makaila passed away in 2001, just two days before Mokope's death at the age of 65. Mokope's granddaughter, Makobo, succeeded her as the reign queen. Makobo Mujaj was born on the 22nd of July, 1978, becoming the sixth reign queen of Balobetu tribe in 2003 at the age of 25 succeeding her grandmother, Mokope Mujaji V. Notably, she was the youngest reign queen in Balobetu history. Makobo, the only formally educated reign queen, faced skepticism due to her modern lifestyle, including driving a car, wearing jeans, and using a cell phone. Despite being respected for her abilities, traditionalists felt she was too modern for her role and her unconventional choices and public relationship with David Mohal caused controversy with the Royal Council. On June 2005, Makobo was admitted to Polokwana Medic Clinic with an undisclosed illness and died two days later at the age of 26. Makobo's daughter, Masala Nabo, born from her relationship with David Mohal, succeeded her as the next reign queen. She was only five months then and was taken into the care of the Mojeha family. Her uncle, Prince Mapatla Mujaj, became regent. This was until Princess Masalanabo Mujaji turned 18. The monarchy has officially been recognized by former President Jacob Zuma and current President Cyril Ramaphosa. Masalanabo Mujaji is the seventh reign queen of Balobetu tribe in the Limpompo province. Now that was the Mujaji queenship of Balobetu tribe from the first reign queen, Maselekwane Mujaji, to the current reign queen, Masalanabo Mujaji the seventh. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Until the next one, thank you for watching.